Good afternoon, YouTube. I've uh, found some reason to mess around with the 3D printer again. I've kind of fallen off of it. Uh, ran out of tape for a second, so bonding it to the build surface was an issue. But I've got some more tape. And, well, if you've seen my recent videos, you can tell. I, well, you you would know that I just got this gun. So a little 22 Heritage, Heritage Arms. Either way, I wanted to make a holster for it. I could buy a holster. They do make them. But I wanted to do the uh, cheap and hard route. So this is the first version of a holster that I printed out. And I really just wanted to see how well it would fit on the gun. It, it does all right. Uh, I'll pop the camera for y'all. I mean, yeah, slides in like that. So I just want to make sure that those dimensions were good. Doesn't wiggle. And switching the holster out for holster. So that was version one. This is version two. You know, I added that piece right there, curved this up for a better fitment, and included a uh, belt loop holder thing. What I need to do is make a clasp to go over the uh, revolver. Not that I plan on really using this. I mean, you know, on the fly maybe. I just wanted something to build. So, you know, there's yeah. guess I'll put it on for y'all. I'm wearing my work clothes, so as ugly as usual. Over that. So there it is. Pretty sturdy. The plastic. So that's why I need a clasp. So it might go somewhere. I mean, especially if I'm like, you know, bending way over, you know, hanging upside down. But for, you know, something that didn't take long to design and about five hours to print, yeah, it's not bad. It does the job. I need to work on my cowboy. <laughs> So either way, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I might include that holster uh, on my thank you verse. Uh, you know, I don't think a lot of people own this gun or have a need for a holster for it. You know, if they if they do, they'll probably just buy it. Nonetheless, wanted to post a video for y'all. Hope you have a great day.